I have my oversized king comforter. It was actually cheaper to buy a king comforter on Amazon than any other size. I need to put this to rest for the summer. Let's do this. Lord, I got stuck in the doorway of the bedroom. I'm just gonna set that down for a minute. I'm gonna take the comforter and we're gonna work on the sofa. It's actually a twin extra long bed and I just make it up like a day bed and use it as a sofa. Oh, excuse me, honey bunny. We've got to move you so we can work on the sofa. Take these pillows off. So I have an idea. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but stick around and we'll find out together. I think I better push this table out of the way. Make some room. That's better. It'll give me a little extra room to maneuver this giant comforter. Mr. Turtle, are you gonna help me? See if I can make a taller back for the sofa bed. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna set these pillows up against here and then we're just gonna fold it forward. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Hmm, I'm gonna rework the plan. I've got an idea. I'm gonna do this a little different. I'm gonna take the blue comforter out. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but I think it's gonna work. We're gonna open this up and you're gonna put the pillows in the comforter. up in here like a burrito. Now we're going to flip the fabric, the excess comforter fabric over top of the pillows just like that. And now we're going to flip the pillows all at once. I really like this. I have wanted to make a back for the sofa bed for a long time and have really struggled to do that. But look at that. That's looking good. I got a back to the sofa. Beautiful, but we're not done yet. There's more. All right, we're gonna fluff the orange pillows. Fluffing, fluff, 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 fluff. Oh yeah, that's real nice. No sofa bed is complete without a little stuffed animal. All right, honey bunny, this is your new home. absolutely love using the blue comforter wrapped around the pillows to make a backrest for my sofa bed. What do you think of this idea? Do you have an extra comforter that you need to find storage for but don't know where to put it for the spring and the summer? Try this. If you like this idea, please let me know. I absolutely love it and I'm so glad to do this. And look at the bunny. Doesn't Honey Bunny look happy? You see how my curtains dip 
like that. I don't like the way that looks, so I'm going to try to add pleats to the curtains like I did in the living room. This is my kitchen window or hallway window. Let's get the ladder. I'll just walk it over a few feet. Okay, I'm just going to pull this down. If I can get that. All right. That's harder than it looks. Got the curtain rod set up so it's about 33 inches wide. The 33 is 16 and a half. I'm gonna pleat the panel so it's 16 and a half inches wide. Did not account for the side of the curtain rod, so I'll bring it up to about 20 inches per panel. The center ring, 10 inches, so we'll just keep that in the center and then bring in the two rings on either side. So far, I've got the 20 inch goal, but it's exceeding that much over. I might redo this. All right, that's looking better. I've got this at the 20 inch mark. Let's do the second panel. I'm just gonna line this up and duplicate what I did on this first panel onto the second one. This looks pretty good. I got both curtain panels all situated. Let's add these back to the curtain rod. I was wondering, these curtains are made by Mainstays. It's called Bennett Panel Pair Black Soot. It's polyester, but it looks like linen. So this is like a fake linen look knockoff. I got these from the thrift store. Great find. Let's make the window beautiful. Always a little tricky. I had to do some yoga moves to get that curtain rod up there. All right, let me get this all situated. Wow, that looks a lot better. I really like it. I think that looks neat and tidy. Very pretty. Remember this container? I'm supposed to be saving this to make a greenhouse. I went ahead and put the leftover coffee in here so I can start composting that. But I had a question for all you composters out there. Can I put flavored coffee grounds in here or should I avoid using that in the compost? What do you do? It's a beautiful day. I've got the calla lily sitting on this little candle holder thing on top of a glass jar. And then on the table, the aloe's doing well. I'm still trying to root this. Let's check on these roots. See if we got any roots yet. Oh, look, we got roots. That means I can replant these. Have me some more petunias. Fantastic. We still have the one little yellow flower on this succulent and no growth here. Rooting more petunias. And this was so cute. I put this nativity scene in the small saucer. I just think that is adorable. Look at that. I know some people put this out only for the Christmas season, but I like to collect these and keep these out year round. So far I have two, so it's a small collection, but it's building. Pleats I put in the curtain panels are still working out beautifully. Love it. Well, it's time to take this housewarming gift I got a few years ago for moving into the trailer and replace the battery, see if it works. Batteries. Let me turn on the light. Let there be light. I'm a little Swiffer here. Love this thing. Oh, I hear it ticking. Time to get the steps in. Oh, that was a lot of work. Let's go inside. Yeah, gotta get those steps in every day. The flowers have reached their lifespan, so I'm gonna put them in this container. And I'm thinking about making this a composter. I've got it set up on some bricks, but it's got drainage holes in the bottom. And if I put it on the soil, then the worms should be able to get through the drainage holes and start breaking down all of this. So I guess 
I'm gonna put the coffee grounds in here and see how that goes. It's nighttime. We're gonna go ahead and move this. I'm gonna put that in the dirt so the worms can start composting. It's nighttime, Mr. Turtle. I got me one of those Aqua Bliss water filters. I had not changed it in over a year and I decided to switch it out. The first shower, I already felt better. My hair looked better. My skin looked better. And I think it's because of that filter. It's about to leave. But look at my shirt. I can't leave like this. <laughs> Thank God Mr. Turtle's looking out for me so I don't leave the house looking crazy. Thank you, Mr. Turtle, for keeping an eye on me. We are going to Habitat for Humanity. Let's go. God, do you see that? I got a daggone crack of light coming through my front door. Well, I gotta seal that up. I didn't realize I had a crack of light coming through my front door. Well, let's take a look at all the seals that I got available. All right, let's see what we got here. We're gonna try one of these. I guess I'm just gonna stick this right over top of the existing one. I'm thinking maybe I should go to the store and get some white foam like that instead of the dark foam. What do you think? Use what I got or get some white foam? Starting feeds up to four months. Miracle Grow. Maybe we should get the Miracle Grow. It says feeds up to six months. Grow plants twice as big. Let's get it. So 
I'm looking at some of the floor tiling, the sticky tile, and I'm thinking about putting this down. Transform your old floor. Lord knows, I need some transformation up in my trailer. I like that, that's cute. Great for kitchen, foyer, bathroom, and more. Is this the same as luxury vinyl floor tiles? These are really fun, but I think we still have some of the hummingbird feeders that we got from the dump last year. I'd like to work on repotting the plants, but it's really bright and sunny out here. Let's go inside. subscribers recommended that I take tea bags and add it to the compost so I've been trying that and I've got this hazelnut flavored coffee I'm gonna add that here so what I'm gonna do is make my own little like countertop composter for the coffee grounds and the tea I'll put it in here and then I'll take this outside for the pile this should be fun I had something new with this morning's coffee. I usually add collagen powder, which I did, but I also added a little bit of gelatin, but it's supposed to have similar results to collagen. For all of you new subscribers that chose to hit the subscribe button, thank you for your support. And for all of the returning subscribers, thank you for your continued support. I hope you enjoyed the video. I've had a lot of fun recording and making it. I tried to give you a big variety in what I was doing this week. Still loving the sofa hack where I made the back of the sofa. That's great. That actually <laughs> helps me sit up better when I'm sitting on the sofa. Can you believe I released the 200th video <laughs> on Tuesday? That was crazy. I realized, wow, I got 200 videos out there. That's a lot. I'm going to give you a little prelude to the next thrift store haul video. I believe this was made for Bicentennial. So this jar is almost 50 years old and I did pay full price for it. It was $3 and I cannot get the lid off. I've never seen one of these glass top jars that actually come with the rubber seal. And I think the rubber seal is probably 50 years old too. <laughs> so I don't want to break the jar, but if you know how to remove the seal, please let me know in the comments. Ah, back to my favorite part of the day, coffee time. This video comes out on Tuesday. It's going to be a food pantry haul and that's at 7 p.m. Eastern. I hope you can make it. Until then, have a great weekend and I will talk with you soon. Bye-bye.